Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I, um, I'm bringing this video today. It's kind of different. Uh, I like the other ones. This video is one video broken down or five videos broken down into one. It's four places that I've been to, four different places I've been to. And I just wanted to upload this video to show you how the fishing has been uh, so far during, the, during this hot weather. Like I've said before, during the summer, month of June, July, you know, and through the middle of August, it's kind of rough. The fishing slows down. Why? I don't know. Perhaps the weather, hot weather, and the water too warm. I don't know. There could be a lot of factors there. Fish not hungry, you know. So um, I went to four. I went fishing five times, four different places. And the first clip you're going to oh, see is from uh, oh, Kingdom. I went there with my wife overnight. And uh, usually when I travel somewhere, I take my fishing rods because you never know, you know. So, um, here I'll show you how the fishing went and how the bite uh, was during the time that I was fishing. I only fished for a few hours. Small whiting, that's probably what, 11 inches. Let's see what I get with this fish right here. You gotta be a snook around there. I wanna go over there. Another whiting, yeah. Yeah, that's what they are, whiting. <laughs> there she goes. I don't know what I got here. <laughs> That's a... I don't know what it is. It's a fish. First fish. It's a snook, I think. Nice. Yeah, but it's a small snook. <laughs> you think? That's a just a that's, a, that's a snook, no. It's not. Uh -uh. Yeah, baby. It's a small snook. You serious? You can keep it? No, I can't keep this. <laughs> what if the size regulation is different on this side? No, it's the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Come on, I'm gonna let you go. Yay! Gotta take a picture with it. You gotta paint it. Take a picture. It's gonna rock. It's gonna. <laughs> this is probably like, I don't know, maybe 20? It's 30. <laughs> Bite. Yeah, it'll go. Haha, <laughs> 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 Here on the second video clip, uh, I came back to a pond and look. Uh, I should give it a try. I see maybe I catch some mango snappers, flounder, Spanish mackerel, um, whatever. But I know the fish, the big fish are not there besides the sharks. You know the sharks are hanging around. But even though the water is beautiful right now during this time, the fish, the fishing, the fish bite is kind of slow. 
So this is how I went there. It's only 18 inches. Not so bad though. How you doing so far? Feeding the shrimp to the fish. Oh, well that's a Got good... Got a couple that... of puffer fish. But... <laughs> That's a good day. You you feeding the fish? I got two flounders. Really? One was like 13, and the other one 18. Ooh. Catch them right here. Yeah, I mean you can catch them basically all over. You see those dark spots? Yeah. Those are rocks, so you just got to be careful. Right now you can see them, but when the water is a little murky, you can't see. A lot of people get hung. Yeah. So I'm casting right here, like on the edge. Yeah, we're gonna move up here because they're. Nah, man, you've been there too long. You got to keep moving. Yeah, it's if you're over there, you should go to the middle a little bit and come in. There's no bite, then keep moving. Yeah. I might go to the beach in a yeah, few. Huh? When it hits the water, they're biting. Yeah, if those mi this big. <laughs> yeah, when those small fish are biting, there's no big fish around. Yeah. Because when the big fish are around, those small fish, they, they disappear. Yeah, they're out of here. Yeah, they don't want to get eaten, so. But yeah, I got two flounders, that's about it. That's cool. Yeah. yeah I'll bring John up here. I'm sure he wanted to see that flounder there. Oh yeah, right there. It's, it's in the bag. You can open it, I mean, if you come back. Yeah. But yeah, keep moving around. Don't stay in one spot. Yeah, because yeah, I was there. I was fishing here and uh, I got a couple bites. And then I got a flounder. It was like 13 inch. It was like this big, but it came off. Jigging? Uh, yeah, with this. With the swimming mullet. Yeah. Yep. So that's how I got the flounders. They like this, man. Cause I'm, I'm trying to use more lures because I, I always use live bait like shrimp or live mullet but there's no mullet there's some over here but nothing's chasing them so I'm trying to use more lures yep. you know I got some uh, I got some of them little floating jigs I'll give you those you can try them oh no definitely man they're uh I mean if you put a weight on the weight will We'll, we'll weight on it about eight inches off the bottom. You can just drag it across the bottom, and the fucking and the jig will be a, a foot off the bottom. Just I gotta see it, man. I don't know, but you know. No, I'm using those one that I show you. Yeah. I've caught uh, I caught a 20 inch flounder with it. We want it. I want those those little crappy bear, 20 inch flounder. I'm right here. Awesome. Yeah. So they work. They work, man. Yeah. We'll be up. Yeah, all right. Oh, another on this side. Here on the third video, uh, my wife and I decided to go to, to the west coast to oh, visit a, a new place that I've never been to. It's called a Venice, Venice, Florida. So we decided to go to the jetty. There's this inlet here, a beautiful place. Two jetties, yeah, too small. the south and north. I decided to go to the south jetty just to give it See, a try. I bought live little. shrimp. Um, and my wife was using the full shrimp on a chicken Bring rig. I was using Let half a shrimp on a jig head. And yeah, using the bow tail. I was trying different, trying different stuff to see what bites. Okay. Watch uh, it with and the this teeth. is how I went there. Oh, you got. I was gonna go get in the car. The loop around its face like this. Thanks. Nice. 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 Nice.
Yeah. Catch the mother. <laughs> Got it? I caught one before you. That's good. Which one? See the loop that you made? It went. Try not to mess it up. What is that? Oh, it's snow. <laughs> Got a snow. Oh. <laughs> that was a snow. <laughs> I told you I was going to catch one. I don't know where it is though. What is it? Oh, it's a blue runner. It's a pretty good blue runner. I'll leave it in and I'll bring it out because you're not going to be able to give it to me. I know, bro. Let me see if they want it. What is it called? This is a blue runner. Now you want it? Sure. Yeah, you can have it. Thanks, man. No problem. It's a good Appreciate it. No problem, man. Thank you. Yeah. Went back to Daytona Beach where my buddy Jerry Eddie. We decided to go to the uh, main strip here, do some fishing under the pier. Um, and while we were there trying to catch bait, I was trying to catch greenies. He already had live shrimp. Uh, we see that they're opening the pier and we see people going in and we're like, all right, let's go up, let's go up there and try it. Uh, mind you, this pier used to be a thousand feet long back in the early 90s or when I started fishing here. A um, thousand feet long, that's a little bit over three football fields. Right now, if you come here, it's uh, about a hundred yards, uh, give or take, uh, you know, five or ten yards. But it's it, it shrunk down, and that's because of the storms, hurricanes. A thousand feet, that's over three football fields. And the fishing here was really good. So anyway, we decided to come here, and some people were using shrimp, uh, sand fleas. I was using greenies. Jerry Eddie was using shrimp. And, you know, people were catching black drums, reds, flounders, a lot of whiting. Well, all of them were on the small size, but the fishing wasn't bad. It was productive. And this is how it went there. That's a thick ass wire too. You ha you have pliers? I can take the hook out. Now nah, let him up. Look at this. <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, but I'm going to take the wires off. 
Thanks, man. I'm just going to cut the line. That's a big, big wire, man. There you go. Thanks, I appreciate it. Them too. I just yeah. want a little bit bigger. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. Mango snappers, and this is what I'm doing. We got a greener right here in the back. Two old hook. Right here, longer. I'm using one and a half ounce weight. 20 pound liter, 15 pound braid. What I'm doing right now is just casting right underneath the pier. So they should be hanging out. And here, I'm here back at the uh, Ponce Inlet. Again, um, with my buddy uh, JD Eddy. He bought uh, live shrimp and I brought my net to catch live, you know, greenies or mullets. Um, I haven't seen too many mullets here, but we'll see. I know there's greenies going around. And the intention is to catch uh, mango snappers, flounders, and actually anything that bites, you know, anything. Um, so um, we were using both shrimp and greenies. And this is how I went there. Man, it just grabbed it. I don't know what it is. It feels like a pretty good sized fish. I hope it's a nice sized snapper. Oh no, it's a cat. <laughs> Un gato. Un gato. Catfish. <laughs> oh, no. oh, I got a small snapper here. <laughs> Another small snapper. Right at the edge of the trap. Back to jigging. Nothing is biting, pretty much. Bunch of snappers. Little snapper, not that big. Another catfish. Hmm. 
fucking stink shot. No, maybe not. There could be a sniper. Oh no. What is that? What is that? <laughs> On Jack. Uh, different species. What do you know? <laughs> Don't snap her. I said that way, no? Okay. <laughs> I just got this right here. Had the camera off. I'm not sure what they're called. I know it's a shrimp. A type of shrimp. Anyway. I'll find out. Uh, let me know in the comments below what kind of shrimp this is. Is it me? Oh, I think one. <laughs> Small one. Oh, you're going to go here. Huh? Let's sit Huh? Coge, 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 Sí, tiene que ser un snap para que no. Oh, un jack. Mira, te traes ya como tú quieras. <risa> <risa>